All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechak, Kodash. The blow honors unto the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Okay. And salutation and much love to Yaakim out there pushing out his word in truth and sincerity. And uh, this is the brother Ash. We're just gonna uh, do a quick in transit video, you know, uh, flow through the spirit concerning, um, you know, um, the up the uproars in 144. Okay, you know, the uproars and um, the the conflicts that are taking place right now around the world that it's, it's not really being um, pushed out there, you know, because you got you got conflicts in, in South America, Central America, Africa, the Middle East, Europe. All right, with all the yellow vest protests, even in, even in Asian countries, and uh, you know, because India and Pakistan that's considered Asia, you got beef over there, and so there's all kind of things going on in Libya. All right, you got uh, the Americas claiming, uh, oh yeah, it's time to pull the troops out, you know, and in Syria, or so, so like Libya, Syria, you got uh, tensions in Iran. Iran yeah, so even among even while tensions grow amongst nation against nation, you got tensions. Among those nations, man, just like you got tensions here in America, man, with the with the nip with the nippy Nipsey, Nipsey, Nipsey hustle, hustle. Kind of you know that's just staring, staring up uh, race riots. Kind of, hey, if I may add to it, is um at his uh, uh funeral or something like that. Look, get together. It was actually a shooting. It was yeah, people, yeah. people got shot. You know, people died. I mean, bro, it's, like you say, and that's going to bring in that race war, those race wars, you know, and riots, you know, outbreaks. That's what's going. That's all that's going. Like like we always say, America ain't doing it. Make America great again, no. The only thing that's going to make America great is it being destroyed. Yeah. This is going. It's only going to go downhill from here, man. Scripture say we would have healed her. All right. Uh, all these she things. Will not be healed. Kind yeah. of, all these things that are happening are, are, are signs that Yahweh Shah is coming back, bro. Because yep. Scripture say in Isaiah forty-seven, uh, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. You know. So now all that skirt is being lifted up. All that wickedness. Everything that's about this damn devil is being shown. You know. And that's the spirit we was talking about there earlier too. Um, these other nations, yeah, they hate this damn devil, but they can't take him out. Why? Because he has that power. He still has that that sword. And yeah. the Lord, y'all, bless me, is gathering these Kinda, nations together. Man. In Revelation, I think it was uh, chapter nine or nine or six. It says that that that, that the power was given unto that to that the red horse, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah, that right one to kinda, take kinda, peace from the earth. Yeah. That's so right, the, that's the right. and and uh, Job nine and twenty four. The earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. So you can't take, you're not going to take Esau down before his time is up. You know, it, the Lord is the one that set his, the boundaries, you know, mm -hmm. that he cannot pass. The Lord is the one that set it up. So, you know, taking all, taking up arms and going to the gun the cut, gun range, cut. that's all a waste of time, storm man. Food, <laughs> yeah, storm storm food. Cut, bunkers and shit. Yeah. yeah. So so really, that's, that's for the heathen so that we, they, you know, in the two thirds, they're doing that. So we, can, the prophets of the Lord, right. the servants, can, can rejoice in that day and, and eat. 65 you know? 13. Yep. Eat, my right. servant shall eat. All right, my servant shall drink. And my servant shall rejoice, man. God, right. while people are starving to death, all right, thirsty is a it, it, thirsty as hell, man. Crying, not knowing what's going on. Yep. And that's why, uh, like the brother was saying, man, these are signs uh, that the Lord is about to Come return. On. It's like what, man? You got um, when a woman's about to go into when a woman goes into labor, she her water breaks. What she got? She goes through those contractions. Yep. First, they're ten minutes yep. apart. Yep. Then they're eight nine minutes apart and so on until the baby comes that's man right, that's right. and that's what's happening now the contractions are getting uh closer worse. and closer and it, gets, and it gets painful and worse and that's why scripture saying perilous times shall come in the last days you know to where we're going back to the title of, of, what, of this lesson we're doing you know conflicts and uproars of the people the lord told us that before the before his kingdom come this shall this this must happen bro it has to happen you know what i mean and what we we being in the spirit, the Lord is uh, sh uh, uh, shaping us up, you know, to be in the spirit, all right, to you know, to be uh, forerunners, you know, or, uh, or leaders, or whatnot, because the scriptures tell us that a, a flood is coming in, man. You know, a flood that one third is going to come in and, and get that message and be saved by calling on the names of the Al Shai. It says under heaven there is no other name wherein we must be saved, you know, and that's why we run into certain people, you know, in our daily life. And, and we talking to him and the spirit will hop on you. You'd be like, yeah, hey, you know, uh, uh, you know, just, hey, if you call on that name, Lord's will, you be saved. You and your family. We're not saying that for no reason, bro. You know what I mean? We actually sealing uh, uh, the one third, bro. We out here doing this work. All right. Because it's coming a time when that conflict and that uproar is, is at your door. All right. You, 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 you got to have the spirit. If you don't have the spirit, you through. And that's why we out here, what, making up the house of David, closing up the breaches like that's we were talking right. about earlier, man. And, it, and it's just gonna the the, the 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 uproars 
and the conflicts are just going to get wor progressively worse and worse, man. Right. Until ultimately World War Three breaks mm -hmm. out, all right? Because really, it's already started. You know, when it, when World War Two started, you know, it took it took about four year, four or five years before America got involved, and then after the war was over, then they called it World War Two. But what's now? You're li you're witnessing it. You're living yeah. World War Three right now. Right. It just hasn't exploded yet, man. That's right. That's and you know, right. it's just it's just a little skirmishes here, yeah. little skirmishes here. But if you look around the world, there's war everywhere, man. And ultimately, the the sides are being formed. And just like in World War Two, you had the Axis and the Allies. Well, all the side people are, are are taking sides right now, man. And 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 guess what? The, the, anybody that goes on the side of America is ultimately going to go to the other side, man. What's that? Revelations uh, 17. 18. Yep. Yeah, yep. it's 17. The, yep. beast, uh, uh, the beast shall, shall hate, hate the whore. The whore yeah. You know, well, yeah. that's, the, that's the heads. That's the superpowers, man. Yeah. That's so how much EU more. They, the NATO. That's right. Yeah. So how much more that, that those nations, man? That already hate the, the Con, whore, you know? That's right. That's right. So it's only going to get worse, man. You know, and, and that's why we're here to wake up the elect of Israel. You know, that's why the Lord put the spirit on us, man. All right, to gather the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. All right, because what? Yahweh Shai said, my sheep hear my voice, because it's getting ready to go down. All right, and we're looking to have a hedge over us in these times. All right, and that's why when people be like, I got a lot, a lot of people come up to me asking me at my job, you know, spirit hop on Jake, Jake to say something, you know, they'd be like, you know, what are you going to do at that time? Listen, it's not about what we're going to do. The scriptures say, wait ye upon the Lord. All right, even Yahweh Shai don't even know when, when he's going to get sent back, man. And that's the word of the Heavenly Father. But we believe, we know that that time is going to come. All right, it's evident, you know. Because what, these other nations think they're going to mess, you know, I always say this, these other nations think they're really going to rule next, bro. Like the Moabites. Yeah, bro. They have their buying land and, and, and giving finance and everybody. Because they really think they, they they got next. <laughs> yeah, kind, kind. But what, at the end of the day, the Lord said, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. How is that? Because the 2nd is 13 chapter, man. Yeah, I was shy is the one who's going to be, uh, like Ezra said, who, he, he flew upon a great mountain, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And what and what and what and who's with, and who's on that great mountain? Yahweh Shai. And what does that mountain consist of? Chariots, man. Angels, bro. And and and, and, li and uh, that's literally. Oh, but hey, mountains are considered governments. And, and, and who's who's, right. who's the head of the government that's going to be formed? Is Yahweh Shai, man. Shai. That's right. You no. Know, so his government is going to overcome this government, God. this this world, all right, this system. God. All right, because Lord's so will be those men. We we're we're going to be part of that. All right, because hey, because to be a great ruler. You know, like King David. Let's use King David as an example. He was a king, but he was out. He was on the the front lines. Cut, cut. You know, he was out yeah. there slaying niggas, man. Yeah. He had, he was he had the biggest body count, man. Cut, you yeah. know, that's why he couldn't he couldn't. <laughs> what y'all was saying? What y'all was saying? Hey, look, I'm I'm gonna have to use a uh, uh, Solomon. You know, yeah. your hands too. Yeah, bright. exactly. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> he, he he was so he, he, hey man, he was he was so about it yeah. that his men had to be like, yo, you getting too old yeah. for this, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you cut. gotta stop, man, because he yeah. got wounded. You know. Yeah. You're like, all right, man, you yeah. got to start it. Cause he, he still he, wanted to go exactly, out, man. man. So, the, hey, so so, what do you think the Lord's host is, is going to be like, Con, man? bro, because what? The scriptures say he's a man of war. Yep. Yahweh Shai said, if this was my kingdom, my, my servant shall fight. fight. You know, the scriptures say the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. So what? Like you say, you got to be out on that forefront. That's why the Lord is building us up in the spirit, all right, to consume this place by the spirit, man. And because it's going to come a time where it's going to be physical. And, and, and part of the conflicts is, is, is the spiritual war, Cut. which which we're fighting, man. Yeah. So we are we are in a battle. We are out in the, in the front lines, Cut. you know, Cut. in the spiritual battle. But what our weapons are, are not, not carnal, carnal, man. Right. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but uh, uh, spiritual. Cut. They're casting down the strongholds, man. Cut. And that's the most powerful thing, man. The uh, Hebrews four and twelve, the the word of the mo uh, uh, of Yahweh is quick and powerful man. and sharper than any two edged sword. Yes, yeah, complete idiots, man. But you know we need that balance. You know? yeah. Need that balance. Keep us uh, rage. Keep us. Uh, 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 let's just say, uh, uh, surely oppression make it the wise man mad. Okay. You know. So we we. That's why the Lord will put us through this through this hell because we at war. All right. You can't just be. You can't. We can't be just going through this walk like it's like ice cream, ice cream and cake, bro. Yeah, yeah like no, yeah, bro. Yeah, you want you want to you you don't want to yeah. accept the reality that God. people are gonna hate you. Yeah, <laughs> God. No, we need that, bro. Let's just say through much tribulation shall we suffer, bro. Yeah. We need to be hardened. So that's why the Lord is putting brothers through that fire, building brother's spirit up, man. You know, because it's coming a time where uh, 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 one third, the masses of our people, which is, which of course to us is a, a small number, but one third is a huge number, bro. Yeah, we are in a time of acts. That's millions. Yeah, bro. When, when, when shit really hit the fan, we always talk about this. The uh, famine, we was just talking about this at the house. Famine of the work. We can't wait till this happens because these are the biggest signs or the things that are, are going to come to pass that's happening right before our eyes that's going to shake up masses of the people. 
And we need that because the, every time it gets worse, it's a balance. More but, people wake up. Kind, and how about Shemiel Shah is near? You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. the scriptures say the day of the Lord is near and hasteth greatly. You know, so at the same time that majority of the people are getting shaken up, y'all about Shemiel Shah is coming through, bro. We yeah. need these events to happen, man. You know? I got something real quick you want to speak on again. Uh, this is Zechariah chapter 13, uh, verse 8. It says, And this shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh Shemiah Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Yeah, two parts of what? Two parts of Israel, man. In all the land, wherever so they be scattered, man. Two thirds, because, hey, one third is not just in, in America or in the UK. Uh, uh, two thirds, you, you have two thirds in China. Or so, like, one third uh, among all the nations, man. So, so. You know they, they're not they might not necessarily get uh carried up into a chariot but what when the nuke sit they they might not they might they might be in the country that goes untouched and then when we come down we come and get them okay. you know but you know just speculating okay. but you know because we're just scattered all around but just like the two-thirds man we got two-thirds that look like jake yep. uh the negroes latinos and native americans and then you got the two-thirds that look like the Nine other years. nations that are going to die man so it's talking about in all the land, wherever, uh, uh, wherever the whole care. earth, yeah. Huh. That two thirds are gonna be perish away, man, because they they need death. They need death by pain. That's a mercy kill, man. Yes, yeah. they gonna come back through us. Exactly. But they need to die. They have. They like that. Uh, 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 matter of fact, that's the spirit. I just did a video. Two thirds are mercy kill. When you actually go into the definition of the word mercy kill, it means uh, uh, those that are uh, they they have a uh, patient that has a, a they're suffering from an illness or a pain that cannot be healed, man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It two thirds it's on terminal, that. right? That's what they call it. it like if you're in the hospital and, huh. and there ain't no hope for you, they mm. call you terminal. He got a terminal cancer, oh, a terminal wow, disease. Water. You beautiful. know he's done. He's finished. <laughs> he's just waiting. Thirds. Yeah, <laughs> they send him God. to the hospice. Let, let him let him wait out. God. You know you just got it. That's a mercy. Taking mercy him cure. out would be mercy, man. That's, and that's what. And bro, I'm serious. That's the definition of, of the word mercy cure, man. That's exactly what two thirds are. Because they gonna come back through us, but what they are not in the they not in a mind of war, man. Yep. You know, they are not, they're not spiritually prepared, bro. That's spirit. I had, I just did a video earlier about what manner of life should you be living. Mm. They're just in, living in folly, man. Living in, in, in living for the flesh. Mm. Living after the, for themselves, man. That's why the scriptures say that there should be lovers of themselves in, 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 the, in the last days. There should be lovers of themselves. Con, con. That's why they got selfies and, and Instagram con, and all that that's shit, right. man. Con. That's right. <laughs> con, that's right. Hey, because America pushes you into a selfish uh, individual, man. It pushes you to be about you, man. Everything is about me, me, me. America is a me, me, me uh, uh, society, man. You know? How can I get... So it's going... Bro, that's why when the, the movie Purge... Bro, the, the scriptures say uh, 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 it's how she passed 70 AD, man. Yeah. You know, the time we're coming in, bro. So we are only getting a... Uh, we're getting a visual aspect of how it is. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to get real bad out here, bro. And you people are not going to... The majority of you are not going to make it, bro. Yeah. But... We do these videos for the elect because the elect gonna get it, man. All right. It says, uh, but the third shall be brought slop, but the third shall be left therein, and I will bring the third part through the fire. Yeah, and that's that that's that furnace of adversity. Con. Go ahead. And we'll refine them. Yeah, refine means to purify, man. Refine you refine something like refined gold or, or refined oil. What do they do? They 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 purify it, they separate it. Con. You know, go ahead. It says, as silver is refined. And we'll try them as gold is tried. Exactly. So we got to be tried to be purified. Okay. You know, you got these dudes tried and refined, but they, they haven't, you know, they, they don't even know. Why Why do you do that? Because the, the real tribulation hasn't even come. Okay. The time of Jacob's trouble, the, the hour of temptation hasn't even come. So how are you tried and refined? That's really being proud, man. Yeah. You know, bucking up against the elders. You know what I mean? But, you know. Hey, that, yeah. somebody got to fulfill that's, that Somebody got to be a two-third. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, just God, God we, hey, that's what we're reading about. Hey, but it, we co correlate that with the topic, hey, a lot, the, a lot of, well, the majority of the two-third, they're going to die through these uproars in, in, the, in the conflicts, man. When these race rights and, and, the, and, the, and the shit really break out here in America, man, a lot of these niggas are going to die, man. Or well, they will die. And if they make it to the missiles, man, that's... that's Hey, the Lord really hates you. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Cunt. That's right. Because that's the end. The end is always saved for last. Just like when you eat, you don't eat all your chicken. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You might eat yeah. all your, your broccoli and shit. You know what I mean? Save the, you going to save that chicken, save bro. Save the best for last. <laughs> God. So, so you're right. The Lord, y'all must have shot. really hate you. Whoever reserved for no missiles, man. And that's why we're trying to escape that wrath to come by what? Measuring the time diligently and staying in the spirit, being occupied in the prophecies, man. The scriptures tell you, he that gives his mind over to the law is occupying the prophecies. 
all right? The testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. What we're foretelling you was to come. What's the topic we're going into? The conflict and the wars and the uproars, man. Okay, and that's evident. That's so close. It's, it's near. It's here. You know what I mean? Just because it ain't popping off, like I always say, through the spirit. For when shit really hit the fan, if it's, it, it's if it's at your door, it's too late, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like we, yeah, we we can see the war outside. And hey, that's why the Lord set up bro. watchmen to warn you before it comes, man. Come. Now you got this movie, a uh, bird box. Um, it's on Netflix. You know where they had to wear the, the blindfolds and shit. Come, come, come. But um, yeah. um, what happened? She seen it at the beginning of the movie. She seen the shit. The shit was going down in Russia. She was she was she was like, oh, oh whatever. That's over there. She turned mm -hmm. the TV off. But then later that day, the shit, same shit happened in her place, and now she want to worry about it. It's too late, bitch. Con, uh, you know <laughs> that's the spirit. That's the spirit, bro. It's too late. And what? Oh, the script. Matter of fact, let's grab that real quick. Uh, Proverbs one through the spirit. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs one and twenty two. It says, uh, so lucky, verse twenty three. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refused. Yeah, so the Lord's calling. How's he calling, man? Through his prophets, man. He's he, he's over here smacking you, trying to smack you in the face to wake you up out of sleep. Come. But what? You you refuse. You, know, you leave me alone. Let me let me alone. I'm gonna stay going to sleep. Well, you're gonna remain in darkness, and ultimately you'll just be destroyed. Come. That's right. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. Yeah. Hey, how does that Lord? give you his counsel and his reproof through his prophets, man. That's right. And that's why he set us up <laughs> in all the major cities around the America and now popping up around the world, man. You got brothers, well, they've been out there in in, in uh, London, you know, your, uh, oh, uh, England, come, come. you know, but you got different other countries in Europe now, uh, Denmark, uh, and now you got brothers popping up in South Central America, yeah. man. You got brothers in the, in the, in the what was it, the, Ru the Russia area, I believe. Oh. I think they said Russia. It was Russia. You got brothers in Africa. Con, yeah. You know, brothers in the Philippines. Con, you had brothers all watching the elders in uh, India, man. India. You know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, so there's no excuse, oh man. Oh my God, boy, we almost out of here. <laughs> Matthew 24 says in like 21, yep. the, the word shall be preached uh, uh, to all the earth, and then shall the end come. Exactly. So right. we're, we're we're that's how we know we're the people. People always say, oh, uh, you don't know what day the the, the, the okay. Lord's coming back. Well, no, but I know the the, the signs, signs that it, that they're gonna tell you when it's about to come. So I know we at the, we damn near at the end, man. Kind. What you how I say? Oh, fools! You know y'all are able to discern. Uh, roughly when it's going to rain, rain you know? <laughs> but cannot discern the times, yep. you know what I mean? So that's through the spirit. And the Lord knew that, the Lord knew that because he knew the scriptures even tell you when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, he knew all them that had faith. He knew that he would read. He was he had mind reader. Yeah. He had that power. So he knew them that had faith, you know? So, so we coming into that time where that same man is coming back, but he's not coming back as a man. Yep. You know what I mean? That's somebody to be feared, bro. That's really the whole talk, bro. I, I, bro, I mean, uh, uh, somebody who, bro, like I was telling Brother Michael, Mike Allah, the, Yahweh Shai gave us signs of his coming back, and he told us that war's gonna be popping off, right? Then he said, look, if, he said, look, uh, I will not meet thee as a man. I mean, is that not a power to be feared, bro? This man, this this guy is not coming as a man, bro. Kind okay, of, we'll just put it like this. He, 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 when he was on here, when he was here 2,000 years ago, he said, he said he could have called down a legion of angels, man. So, well, how, what is he going to be able to do when he comes back and not meet thee as a man? Meaning a, a man, a mortal man. Con. He coming back as an immortal. Con. All right? Because, yeah, he's still going to have skin and bones, you know. But, you Glory. know, yeah, because we had a, a bug out, you know, Manasseh come up and he was like, oh, so he's not coming as a man. Was well, he going to come like Casper? You know, and that's, come on, man, that's a, that's simple. But now he coming out as an immortal man. All right, the the uh, uncorruptible, just like uh, first. There you go. Yeah, I got you. I'm already in. That's the spirit. Got first it. Corinthians 15. So if we, if we're joint heirs, and the scripture saying, I think it's uh, First John, or maybe the Book of John. Yes, yeah, first, first John, John three. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it says we shall be as like, like him. him. You're right. Uh, so we shall it, see him as he is. Exactly, mm -hmm. kind. So if he he's not going to be people as men, and we're going to be changed, and what are we going to be changed into? The same thing. He coming back, kind. Like you know. I got you. This is our uh, First Corinthians 15 and 47. Through the spirit, it says the first man is of the earth, right? So what we take on that earthly form, yeah. you know, it says earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so that second man is the Lord from Ephesus. Yahweh Shah's coming in his lower form. Yeah. You know, his lower form, and that's the same for form we're going to have. His what? final form. His final form. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you know, because we watched Dragon yeah, Ball Z. Exactly, shit. that's his final you know, form, man. God, you know, hey, that's crazy. That's beautiful. <laughs> Verse uh, 8, 48. Say 80. <laughs> 48. <laughs> as the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. And as the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. Yep. You know, do not just say lay up your uh, uh, treasures in heaven. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, 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 ye are dead and, and your life is hid in Hamashiach. Well, where is Hamashiach now? He's in the heavens, man. You know, but what? His spirit, his spirit is resting upon his men. You know, that comfort is resting upon us so that what we can be changed like him, man. You know, just say in the twinkling of an eye, you know, uh, verse 49. It says, as we have, as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. All right, kind. That's what we're. That's the times we're coming into, man. Of bearing that, uh, that, that uh, second covenant, man. Okay, because everybody's looking for a way out. The way out is Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. There's nothing you can do but wait upon Him. Yeah. It's gonna say, ble uh, uh, "Blessed are all those that wait upon Him." In uh, uh, Psalms 37, man. All right. So waiting upon Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. It's gonna tell you, wait upon the Lord, and He shall renew thy strength. Yeah. Okay. That strength has been renewed into us spiritually because yeah. of, of the wisdom and the knowledge. But that's going to be a physical out, uh, exactly. appearance, exactly. man. Just like you know? renew that strength. Look, we're going to go back into the angels that we used to be, man. That's right. But now yeah. it's going to be on earth. That's right. Because what? When we were when we were in that estate, we were we were, you know, we were creating the earth, mm -hmm. you know, and then we the Lord put us in the, in the, in this in this flesh, you know, He God. made this flesh for us. But what? Now, we're going to be gods on the earth, man. God. Yeah. In Psalm eighty three, I say, yeah, gods. God's are you are children of the most high right sons of the heavenly father power yet kind of amen judgment you know yeah. <laughs> you know a, a lot of judgment coming you know and that's go, going back to the topic yeah. conflict and upwards we need you we need that man yeah. we need that because that in a time of judgment it's always going it's always going to be a, a, a mercy you know i always say that the heavenly father is a balance right so yeah. what in ultimate time of judgment there's going to be an ultimate of mercy and what do not he have vessels of honor you know, so you got to be looking for the mercy. Don't think about what can go wrong. Think about what can go right for you, yeah, man. Hey, think not how the the, uh, the unrighteous shall be kind, so, but how so the righteous, perish, but how the righteous shall be saved. That's right, kind. You know, because we need we need this war to pop off, a famine. We need these things to happen, man, so we can get the hell out of this fucking condition, man. You should be tired of going off, bro. I was just meditating on that earlier. I'm I'm like, bro, I'm so tired of going off, man. Aren't you tired of going off? You know what I mean? I'm tired of being in this fucking weak ass flesh. And that's gonna be the that's gonna you know? that's the real prize that we're gonna get serving you. How about Shema Shai? A hundred percent, man. Come on, bro. That's the real prize, and then everything else comes with it. You know, everything else is just accolades. A, a, uh, yeah, everything else is like a perk, Come a on. bonus package. You know, <laughs> it's, it, when you serve the Lord a hundred percent, you get everything else that comes with it, man. That's right. Which is the kingdom of heaven. Come, because what the scripture say? Be ye perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. And what are we perfect in? The doctrine. Doctrine is perfect, the word. So that's why the Lord said, uh, as I am thee and thou and me, they and you know, that we all may be one. Yeah, yeah. What are we one in? We are one in the word, man. That's why he came down in the likeness of the flesh. You know, it showed the us how to it showed God. us that he, that he he overcame sin, bro. God. He overcame death, man. God, bro. But he still died, ain't that so? <laughs> you know? Hey, but you know, through the spirit, God, God. you got something you want to Nah, that was up? it, man. Hey, come hey, through the spirit and power y'all watch me out shot, we reached our destination. You know, so uh, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechah, Kodash. All right, and it's always double honors to our apostles and hail elders of Great Millstone, who were well taught us this truth through the Spirit, Rock and Thumb. And it's always salutations to the Zakwani and Wa'akim, because the four comes to the earth that's teaching this truth and sincerity, faith, and honesty. All right, Salawam, Wahabatham, Lahabacharyam, Shah Yasha Allah, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom.